Hello and welcome to another Raggies beer review. So, craft beer review, you know. And it is actually a craft beer. So, from Blue Monkey, I do love merch because it gives you that experience when you're talking about the company. And in some ways, as beer reviewers, when it's a good beer, you're selling that beer to people to, so that it's interesting. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not really a hat wearer, to be honest, but it, it hides the grey. And uh, yeah, so today, uh, first ever stab at New Zealand Pale Ale. So I've not had this, didn't have it at the craft beer launch the other week. It's been a crazy few weeks on the channel, lots of out of beer room reviews, um, shorter reviews, you know, in the beer room. The reviews are always longer because one, I take my time, one, I drink, and there's not nothing behind me, no one listening, and I don't feel daft. Um, yesterday I was down at the uh, Robin Hood Beer Festival, Cider Festival as well. Um, had a great time, you know, uh, second day, fantastic time. The, a full review will come of that. Um, I've done two reviews from Blue Monkey while I'm actually down there. And I mean, there's only so much you can drink. The funny thing is, I end up drinking more local than anything else, really. And uh, there's a lot of beer there that, from great breweries, but just didn't interest me, you know. And let's be fair, there's only so much you can drink. Um, and review. <laughs> so yeah, New Zealand Pale Ale, 4.2%. Um, you've got a little thing there that you can scan with your phone. And that should tell you more about the beer. I have done no wrecking before I've even tried this. And I can't see my, uh, my trust. Oh, yeah. There you go. Just gonna say, I can't see my trusty uh, doodah. Oh, it's coming down now. I wouldn't want to be at the, I wouldn't want to be at the Robin Hood on the last day now and it's like this, because it, oh. So the hops are Matwaker, Nelson Savin and Magnum. They do use Magnum in a lot of their hops. I don't know why, but uh, but yeah. Um, don't usually see a lot of beers with the hot. I mean, I've oh, Nelson Savin and Motto Acre. I've seen that in lots and lots of beers. Oh, it's giving me the itchiest head. So I need to take that off. So there we go. Hopefully it will have caught it on the thumbnail because that's the, uh, in fact, I'll put it back on in a bit. It's just that it's making me head itch. Um, don't normally wear hats at the best of time. So, here we go. I have cleaned this glass, would you believe? Love the state of it. Um, yeah, I need to wash them properly. I got some soapy water on them, but hey ho. So, okay. Hazy, um, I would call that yellowy gold color. More gold than anything, isn't it? God, this chair's wobbling. My God, it feels like I'm on a ship. Um, I'm only just starting to... Rec well, I've recovered it quite quickly this morning. It's... it's uh, and I've been busy all day working, gardening, did two gardens, came home, did my front and back garden, done the hedge, two lots of washing, cleaned up the downstairs while the wife's doing a cake. Yeah, um, mop, cleaned up, mopped all the floors, hoovered it all, hoovered it all, then mopped. As you do, because, uh, yeah, we're going away tomorrow, so all good. Uh, I will try, we'll see if I can get this on tonight. Got a lot of beer reviews to, to chuck on the channel. It's flooding the channel, people are watching it there. Um, the, all the beer review, all the beer reviews are worth watching because we're slight, getting slightly a drunk on each beer review, not caring what we're saying. So uh, yeah, I might have to watch one or two about just to make sure I haven't upset any local breweries or any breweries. You know, these things happen. You know? I'm not an angel. I try to be as good as I can. You know, got a bit of personality, obviously, uh, but a nice personality. I met a lot of lovely people over the two days that I was down there this year. Do want to do the trade day next year, um, and as 
the bigger the channel gets going down there and um, you know jumping on a, a brewery bar again uh, albeit a quiet one I'm not in front of a music stage where you can't hear a chuffing word totally brewed bar actually because where it was was out of the way a bit and uh, that was all right there you could talk without the music thumping um, I'm not a big fan of music and noise because it takes away from conversation um, don't get me wrong, the music was amazing down there. It's just that when you're trying to serve people, you can't understand the word the same. And, uh, yeah. It's the only thing that kind of, on the, when I worked on the bar facing Blue Monkey's bar, navigation, it's the only thing really that spoiled it, is the fact that I could not hear what people were saying. But there you go. Wow. That's got some flavour to it. Um, super juicy. Super hoppy. With like a zesty, spicy thing going on. Ooh. Cheers all. Going to enjoy this beer with you. It's always that thing when you when you open a beer, and one the beer's got to look the right, well, you know, look right, because if obviously it's not good for me if I'm doing a beer and the beer looks rubbish and or oxidised or whatever, and if the beer's not looking good, then um, you know. Yeah, if the beer's not looking good and you're cracking it open, you're doing a review, your review could be amazing. But, um, yeah, you're not really portraying the beer in its best light, as it were. So, I wasn't actually going to drink a beer today. After all the work I've done, I'm, you know, I'm just ready for a drink. And uh, I, I get sometimes people guilting you, saying, oh, I'm drinking again. And uh, it plays on me. It really does play on my mind, you know, about too much beer drinking and all that. Um, I mean, I drink more than I probably should do. But you enjoy it. You know, you're only here once. With some of the stuff that's going off in the world at the moment, you need a drink. God, if you follow the news, it's like, oh my gosh, what now? We've had COVID, we've had BLM and all the stuff that caused. We've had Putin and now we've got the worst government, most laughable prime minister who looks like a Chucky doll and, and a chancellor that made the biggest cock up you've ever seen in your life. Liz Truss needs to go. I didn't like the other bloke, um, the other chancellor, but he was a lot better on the money market than this fella. And, uh, you know, there's people in the background who you should talk to, because people in the background know money better than what they did. They are politicians. They are not money people. And uh, it's like being at a football club, isn't it? And uh, not listening to any of your coaches or any of the players. You listen, you watch, you learn. In any case, back to the beer review, a raggy beer review, nine minutes already, see? Never, it's never a short beer review. So yeah, um, we'll talk about Blue Monkey now. Uh, brilliant bar over at, um, I should really review each bar. I might do that, I might do brewery bar reviews. Um, would, it, would there be any interest for it? Probably not. When I do the proper Robin Hood uh, beer festival, beer review, festival review, I'll dissect each bar, what, what was good, what could have been done better. Um, in my own way, would anybody from camera watch it? Possibly not. Do I care? No. It's putting a point across. Uh, I'm not a member of camera. 
uh, never been and uh, don't really like paying money out for stuff. I don't drink that regular at pubs. You know, it's like a once a week thing. Um, or even less than that. It's much more these days because we've got friends over in, um, in Beeston who we toddle off down to and have a few beers and have a bit of chat, put the world to rights and eat a bit of food, have a three or four beers and uh, and that's it, you know, we have a good time. And that's who we're going away with this weekend. So, uh, for tomorrow even, uh, to York. So, um, yeah, to Brew York and uh, Trembling Madness and uh, then over to Filey. And while we're at Filey, we're looking to go over to Scarborough, maybe Bridlington. So, can you put some miles on the o'clock? We're going over to Flamingo Land. And we're actually taking our friend's daughters with us to Flamingo Land. Um, and have a great day there, you know. Oh. Definitely. Um, going down really, really well. Um, I know the brewer who, who does these beers. He moved there back just over a year ago now. And it's interesting, the, the investment to go down the craft beer route. You know, for, for any brewers, um, for me, if I was a brewer, I'd want to be brewing something different. I wouldn't want to be brewing the same beer week in, week out, because it does get a bit boring. You know, and and the craft beer market is is an ever changing. I mean, I I, I wonder if um, Blue Monkey uh, will have um, a core craft beer range. I suppose only time will tell. Um, they're going to smash next year's craft beer festival. I'd like to see them do collabs uh, with Vocation. Bang the Elephant, and people like that. You know, two-way collabs, one at each, you know, because reciprocation is, is, a, is a massive thing. You know, uh, bumping each other's up is brilliant. Um, in some ways, it's not when you do a beer review. When, when a brewery actually shares your beer with you, that's amazing. You know, it doesn't happen enough. If the beer reviews are rubbish, or, or there's something controversial in the beer review that's going to taint that brewery's image, then that's fair play. I get that. But um, when it's a cracking beer review and there's a bit of culture in there as well that's not harming anyone, then, you know, breweries sharing beer reviewers' reviews of their beer, which are actually positive as well, for me, it's, it's free promotion. And, um, yeah, it doesn't happen enough, nowhere near enough. And, uh, yeah. Same with social media, I suppose, in that respect. The likes of uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, and again, you know, there's, the reciprocation is, is not as good as, you, as you'd thought it'd be. A lot of the time in COVID, no one was really posting about beer, apart from beer reviewers. And uh, even now, a lot of people still watching beer reviews. I mean, I've sh gone past a million views. So, um, I think it's about 1.2 million now. Um, so it's going up at a nice rate. I put a lot of videos out. Not all of them get watched massively. But that's not why I do it. I do it because I have a love, a genuine love of beer. I'm not trying to make money out of the beer industry. I put, I chuck enough at it, <laughs> as you do, you know. There's a lot of money's worth behind me, as you can tell. So, whoa. not sure if it was a bit the right idea to be drinking beer it's after a, he a heavy day yesterday. Even I don't remember getting home. Kind of remember falling over the settee when I got home, mind you. And I woke up and the wife said, I'm in good books with the wife. We all have a boss, all of us, uh, in good books with the wife. And, um, yeah, she, you know, obviously you go out to a beer festival, you might get slightly abbreviated. These things happen. 
um, and this week I think we're going to, it's going to be a few rather messy nights. Uh, I'm taking an absolute stonking amount of booze away with me, home brew that I've done, and uh, yeah, it's going to be great. And great to see that Snenton Cider Company are going to do a collab with me. Me go down there for a day. Uh, do a cider with them, have a few beers, we'll chat to them. If they want to go live on YouTube, I'm fantastic about that because they're such a cultured bunch of people. And uh, it's nice when, you know, um, it's nice for me to give back and to focus on breweries because people watch this channel all around the world, not just local, all around the world. So in a lot of ways, and same with all the beer review channels, in a lot of ways, especially when it's positive reviews, positivity flows, gets the name out there. Who's this brewery? Wow, I've got to go to Nottingham someday. Or if you're an owner of a bar, all these things. This is, it's that, it's like a circle of life really, and it's, it's amazing. Right, can I waffle with the best? <laughs> So, tasted absolutely great. Really enjoyed that. As you can see, still got a head on it. Good lacing on the glass. And uh, first time ever trying it. I did try a Californian one last night uh, from Blue Monkey. And uh, I need to take it off because I've got really bad itches um, on my head. Ooh. Uh, that's why I don't really act as normal. Although I do in the winter months because when I'm freezing. Just to keep my head from being absolutely frozen. But yeah, another stonking beer from Blue Monkey Brewery out of Guilt Book. A very good traditional brewery and a very aspiring craft brewery. It's gonna be interesting to see where they go. They have an amazing person at the helm. Um, he's got his eye on the ball and uh, Ian. and uh, although when he wore that blue monkey thing yesterday at the Robin Hood Beer Festival I, I couldn't look at him <laughs> it's a bit like where people wearing clown things you know they put clown faces on it's like <laughs> I mean I don't, the clowns don't, didn't bother me at all but I can't talk to somebody when they got that on because I, I can't see the face facial expressions I'm all about that when you talk to somebody and you can see their eyes wandering off it's like they're not listening it's like, why am I talking to you? Because you're not interested. I mean, people are, are, are there and you're talking to them and they're looking around and they, they show interest. That I get, but I know. Words of the wise. So for me, really enjoyed this. Going to give it a good 4.4 .4 out of 5. Scores are irrelevant in the grand scheme of things because... Unless you're doing it in one, but you know, unless you're drinking every single beer you've got against every single other beer you've got at the same time, the scores are irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. Would I drink it again? Yes, yeah, it's definitely one I would sample again. And that is it for this beer review a long beer review, a proper raggies beer review. Yeah, none of these four minute things when you're at beer festivals and you can't talk too long because there's too many people watching you. But uh, yeah, been a good one. Cheers, all. Thank you.